Okay, so this first thing right here is a little charm. And these are actually little plastic spoons. They're teeny tiny spoons from the Dollar Tree. I clipped off the top. I'm going to put a little hanger on there and I'm going to use it as a little ornament. And inside we'll have a picture of one of the animals here on the farm. But I wanted a glitter background. I wanted something shiny. Um, glitter seems to be the thing right now. So I've got all of these and I just have to put on the little hangers on the back, which is what these are getting ready to be done. They're, they're all nice and glitzy and all that. I'm letting them dry real good. And then I'm going to put on the hangers and then I have some uh, little thin jute that I'm going to put on them so that they can become little Christmas ornaments. So they'll have a picture of one of the animals from the farm and a simple little thing. And these will sell for maybe a dollar, you know? Then this is my take on <laughs> those lovely glass beads. Um, pretty much I glued stickers on the back of them. And the stickers are stuck to the paper and then I modge podged on the stones. And I'm going to trim around them and then I'm going to put a, a little piece of magnet on them. And they're going to become sets of eight magnets. And they will also sell for like a dollar. I have these bigger ones, which I'm going to make, and they're going to have actual pictures of animals from our farm on the back, but I'm going to print them on the computer and just print them on printer paper and then Mod Podge it on there and make these into um, either pendants or magnets. I think they're a little bit big for magnets, but I, I'm thinking maybe pendants like these over here, but this will be the, the two or three dollar version if I make pendants. If I make um, these bead things, maybe do a, a set of four, um, might be two dollars and three dollars as a pendant or something, or I don't know. I'm working on it, but I don't want anything over two or three dollars. So I'll have the magnets. I have another tray of magnets underneath. Some have blue, some are green, some are clear, some work better than others, but all in all, they will be magnets for their thing. Let's see here. Let's see, I think this is a green kind of sheen one. And I didn't get them all lined up perfect because I wanted to line them up so you could see that that was an elephant. And this is a snake. And that's a pecan. I don't know what you call it. I'm going to ring a tang, cheetah, eagle, a parrot, and a tiger. So the clear ones work the best, but there are some with greens and blue hues to them. Here's and they just don't show as through, but you definitely can tell what they are. And they're they're still pretty, you know, still pretty. So anyway, those are going to be that. Then my uh, diorama, um, I'm going to do my egg dioramas and put them out there and let the kids purchase them for one or two dollars. <laughs> I just like making those. Um, I I just always have. I always have like a dozen of them around. Can you tell? I give them away and I have different things that I put in them. This has got a flower, that's a rabbit. I've got one here that's cracked that's a goat and that's gonna be our display, I told RJ. But I've got some with goats and sheep in there and very simple things. I'm also gonna take and get Lee to cut me some more of these. Um, this is just a stick that's sliced. <laughs> and then I'm going to um, decoupage on some pictures of our animals and we'll sell those for a buck. So we have those. And then my final one is this uh, Jenga game was at the Dollar Tree. Well, they're not really Jenga games anymore because this is, I painted them. Um, and what I'm going to do is like, I figure six. Six fits in this little bag here that I use for fleece and fiber. And I have two ideas. For little kids, one's going to say quack, moo, nay, ba, uh, I don't know, cluck, cluck, and cock-a-doodle-doo or something. Um, and as you can see, the paint isn't all dry because it's not very even on some of them. But, and the camera actually shows that that one's not very even. Ooh, it shows it worse than anything else. But you can see the pink, the purple. These are actually the back sides. Um, the blue I did and I have some little glitter paint so 
that's the back side and then I'm going to glitter them. I'm also going to make sure that these right here when they have the words um, written on them that I uh, clear coat over them and then they too will have a little magnet back so that they can be you know uh, the other idea is that I will have the names of six sheep, six goats, six horses, six cows and these will be you know their favorites and they can pick them out and mix and match so I'll just have a basket of some and they can buy them six for a dollar or probably four for a dollar or something and they can mix and match and then I'll have some sets that are the horses names or farm names and all that so just kind of hodgepodge of stuff that they can get but nothing over five dollars this is our I know that they're kind of crafty things and they're all gonna be farm themed um, they're gonna have pictures of our animals on them these are um, the big stones are gonna have pictures of our animals on it and then these other things are just things that kids can take home as a tangible souvenir and I've got that grid wall, I've got those hooks, and I'm literally just going to take um, a piece of paper and cut it the right size, fold it in half, and then staple it on, punch a hole, and it will hang, and each of these will hang on the thing. See, I've got different size bags here that I use for my fleece. I didn't buy any of the bags. I didn't buy any of that stuff over there for the dioramas. I make those all the time. I bought a dollar package of these spoons. The glitter is used for all kinds of stuff. So I did pick up some more glitter, but not a big deal. I picked up the stones and the stickers. So, and then I picked up the Jenga games and one game is 36 pieces. So, it, and the paints are left over from other things. The magnet, I did buy the magnet. Um, I am also going to do uh, some pendant styles out of these. So I have to go into my jewelry thing. I think I stole them already. And I'm going to put these in. And they, they're they not bought, but it's something that I already had. So I don't think I'm putting a whole lot into it. I did have to pick up some E6000. It just glues these to the plastic better. I couldn't find a real glue that would go from metal to plastic very well. The E6000 I know will. So yes i'm being silly and i'm working on a lot of stuff of little stuff but this stuff is not going to be in for sale in the shop this is stuff exclusively to the farm this is for the little kids that come out here that want to take something tangible home for their money and that way they can shop and they can decide um i was also thinking i i want to do some little felted um i'll do some little felted ornaments I'm going to do some uh, little felted hair bows, hair barrettes. Um, I, I bought some little things to do a baby's hair clip a long time ago, and I haven't used them, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to make, um, like I said, the felted ornaments will go with this, so they'll get to shop. They'll have little ornaments and knickknacks. Um, these also, I'm going to make them into ornaments, but they could. these are small enough that they could wear that around their neck if they wanted to replace it with a piece of um, chain or something. And that's why I want the metal doohickey um, that does a, a necklace so it'll look like this and hang. So anyway, this is what I've been working on today. No, it's not even on my schedule. No, I didn't get anything else done on my schedule. But it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, RJ's boss had a kidney stone. And so RJ is held over at work doing all the chores, including his boss's job. So... I mean, not anything can be helped, but I'm kind of having fun here checking this out. The plan was to get in bed on time. That obviously didn't happen, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. So I'll talk to you then. Bye.